welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on today's story time before we get into it make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications we're gonna get right into it y'all i know y'all read that title and it's probably like what mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah so the guy in this story let's call him Dang, I thought of a name yesterday and I forgot what I said. Marquise. Let's call him Marquise. Okay, so at this point, I should make like a playlist or we should have like a series name for all of the unfortunate things that used to happen to me with guys I met from Tinder. So if you have any name suggestions, put it in the comment down below and we just going to name this series. Because I... It's just so many guys at this point. Well, not so many guys, but it's just so many stories that I could tell y'all at this point. It need its own little section on my page. So any name suggestions, put it down below. But this is another Tinder story time. So we're not going to go into detail about all the little small stuff. Yes, we matched on Tinder. We start talking, like we exchange information and we start talking on the phone. I mean, like, texting on the phone. We probably only, like, talked, like, once or twice. But anyways, so. Do y'all ever be feeling like y'all got that little, like, white ring around y'all mouth that we put, like, lip gloss or something on? Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we start talking on Tinder, exchange information, and now we're conversing on the phone. And let me just describe how Marquise looks to y'all. Because some of y'all be like, Lo, you didn't like describe what the person looks like. I know some of y'all like that. And I barely ever do that. So Marquise was like average height for a guy. Um, like brown skin. Um, he had like facial hair. He had a beard and stuff. And what I will say about him, like all jokes aside, like all of the other stuff aside that I'm going to tell y'all. He did keep his facial hair like really like clean and maintained and I like that about a guy. Like please don't have all of this like roughness around your neck. That's ugly. Like taco me. I don't like that. But um yeah, and he was like he was like like he wasn't fat, but he wasn't skinny. He was like solid like he was like big boned, like, mm, like, but not like in a way, like y'all know how sometimes I tell y'all like, oh, I could tell like this person played football or like they a cute dog or something like that by their neck. It wasn't given like football. It was given like, I don't know how to describe it, but what I will say is in a way I kind of got catfish because on the Tinder app, he, it was him in the pictures, but it was like years and years ago like he didn't look like that anymore and I think I just told him like to send me like a picture like a recent picture and it wasn't given what I was seeing on a profile so and that's fine like I'm just gonna ramble for a second give me a second some people like it some don't skip forward if you don't want to hear my rant listen right I'm not even trying to sound like nothing like I'm not trying to sound shallow or I don't care if you think I'm shallow or not this is just my preference right my preference I don't want to be with somebody who we look like the number 10 standing next to each other like at that time y'all I was probably like 125 30 pounds soaking wet and I'm tall I'm slim and linky I don't want to be with somebody who gonna crush me if we hump I, I just that's just me that's just my preference that don't make me know nothing like guys could have a preference in not liking tall girls like guys cannot like me because I'm tall I mean you're missing out <laughs> let's be clear on that you're missing out on a great time but that's your preference like you can't get mad at somebody for their preference you feel me so I just some people just real sensitive in the comments and I just listen that's that's just what I like and what I don't like that's just me though you like what you like and that's for you okay so just keep that in mind Marquise was he was he was he was giving it to him yeah he he was he was real solid yeah so um and because of that I wasn't like super attracted to him like he wasn't ugly but he just wasn't my cup of tea however 
sometimes looks don't matter that much to me if the vibe and your personality can supplement what you're lacking looks wise for me like you can be like medium ugly a little bit but if we vibe and you making me laugh and we get along real good and i love talking to you you might go from like a five to like an eight maybe you feel what i'm saying so i was just i was open to seeing what the vibe was like but off rip initially when he sent me like an updated picture of himself i was not attracted to him and meaning i wasn't like pressed to text him back off fast respond off fast like nothing like that so the span of all of this happening it was dragged out because i wasn't texting back like that like i was responding but it would be like hours and sometimes even like days later like he could text me at like 4 p.m. and I wouldn't respond back to like 11 a.m. the next day like oh my bad I forgot to text you back like it just wasn't like that so this goes on y'all for probably like two weeks I ain't even gonna hold you like the back and forth and he would text back like super duper fast he would reply really quickly but I just like to me back then like if you didn't give my cheat my butterflies I don't know what to tell you like either you got it or you don't and he didn't have it but I was still open to seeing what the vibe was like. You know, if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, we going back and forth for, like, a couple weeks. And one day he called me and he was like, um, you know, you playing. I'm trying to, you know, like, see what's up with you. Like, let me take you out on, like, a proper date. And if you are not new here, you know, in that one story time, I told y'all about what's his name. What I name him in the story? I was going to say his real name. I forgot what I named that boy, but the story where I said the mama had walked in on us, yeah, that one, I told y'all what my perfect, like, date would be, like, from pickup to where we go to all of that. So, he was like, let me take you on, like, a proper date. And at this point in my life, up until this point in my life, I had not been on, like, a for real date. So, um, he's like, yeah, let me take you on a date or whatever. And I'm open to that. Like I said, I'm open to catching the vibe. If the vibe is cool, yeah, we can we can rock out. That's no problem. I don't know if it's going to go any further than that, but I'm open to it. I'm keeping an open mind. So, I'm like, you know what, Marquise? That sounds great. How about you plan everything, right? You plan everything. Because you're the one who want to take me out on a date. I don't want to take you on a date. You plan everything. You let me know the details. And then we'll make it happen, right? Okay, cool. Bet. I got it. I'll handle it. We're going to have so much fun. Ah, so excited. Okay, cool. So, he hit me with that. Called me with that. Real brief conversation. Y'all, another week that went past. I ain't hear nothing from Marquise. Marquise ain't hear nothing from me. It's not like we was, like, ignoring each other. But, again, on the same, like slow reply i'm replying two days later because you're not saying nothing like i thought you said you was planning a date so he called me again and this is like a week later so he's like um i know i was supposed to you know like get up with you but i'm trying to like find somebody to cover my ship i really planning on taking you out on a date this weekend uh, I just got to find somebody to, like, cover me at work, like, but that's still the plan or whatever. So, at this time, I think if I'm, remember, if I'm remembering correctly, he worked at, like, a car dealership or something like that. So, I'm just like, yeah, no worries. Just let me know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, right? Last thing I'm told is you still planning on taking me on a date. You just got to handle your work stuff first. Cool. It's like, it's, to me, it's like. I'm cool if you do. I'm cool if you don't. Like, it ain't no skin off my back. I'm not pressed to go out on this date with you. It's just, like, it is what it is. Like, cool if we do. And I'm okay if we don't. Like, I'm not pressed about it. So, he's, like, stressed in. He's, like, I don't want to disappoint you and blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to seem like I'm not a man of my word and all this and that. I'm just, like, boy, you're doing too much. Like, it's okay. Like, I promise you a tear will not fall from my eye if we don't go on this little date. It's okay. So he's like, how about this? How about you come over to my house and we figure out what we want to do? Like you like, let's, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. Let's brainstorm. Let's figure out what we're going to do. And then we'll take it from there. Right? Now I know somebody going to be like, well, why would you go to this man's house? But why would you do this? But why would you do that? Why not? I'm just kidding. I don't know why. I literally don't know why. And like I said, I wasn't even like pressed over this man or nothing like that. I don't know why. Maybe I was just bored and I wanted to see what was going to happen. So I'm like, all right, babe. 
And this is how I know I wasn't really like attracted to him like in a way that I would normally be attracted to somebody. And I don't like to think that like I have a type because I really don't, but I kind of do, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, so he's like, yeah, come to my house. So normally, if this is like somebody that like I'm really attracted to and I think you're so fine and I'm going to look good for you, I'm going to take extra time like getting ready, like put extra care in my hair, my makeup, make sure my nails did, make sure I'm smelling good, like from the head to the toes, like I'm going to look real cute for you, like I'm going to do the most, y'all. Because like, let's be clear, I don't have to do that much. I don't have to, but I will if I like you. So this is how I know, like, I really just didn't care because I, I think I put on, like, some chill shit. Like, not sweatpants, but, you know, like, just, like, it, it wasn't giving, like, I'm trying to look cute for you on the first link. It was just giving very, like, casual. I don't really care too much. My hair was probably, like, pulled back in a ponytail or something. Like, it just wasn't giving. Like, I spent hours trying to get ready for you and look cute. So, I'm just like, whatever. So, I go over there. And all jokes aside, like, all this other stuff aside, um, his house was very, very nice. His house was very, very nice on the outside, right? I need to see what your house looked like on the inside, though. Okay? So... I get to his house, I walk in, what I will say, the one good thing that I will say about his house, it smelled amazing. He has so many like plugins in the wall, it smelled amazing, okay? That's the only thing he had going for himself. The carpet is dirty as hell. I, I hate a dirty carpet. Hate a dirty carpet. I hate it. It stains in the carpet. It's like stuff, like just stuff on the carpet. Like you can tell he probably never vacuumed. Like it's just, it's too much. He got dishes in the sink. It's dishes in the sink. And I'm not talking about like dishes. Like, oh, he probably just, you know, had him a little snack, something to drink before I got there and put the dirty dishes in the sink. No, y'all. This wasn't even like dishes that was like soaking. You probably like cooked last night and you letting the dishes soak. No, y'all. No dishwater in the sink. Dishes just sitting there like old, crusty, hardened food just sitting. And I'm talking about, it's not a little bit of dishes. It's a lot of dishes in the sink. I'm very confused. So these should have been red flags for me, right? The, the, the condition of your home, it was just giving you didn't put no thought into you finna have company. I know somebody gonna be like, but you didn't put no thought into how you was gonna look. Okay, but that's me though. In the way Marquise was stepping, he was really feeling the kid. So you would think like, you finna have company, you trying to impress me. He didn't give a damn or a fuck. He didn't care at all. Which, I guess I'm being a little hypocritical because, like, I don't care either and I don't want to impress you. So, I guess, like, you didn't have to impress me. But, like I said, he was on my body. So, it's not like you don't like me. It's not that you're not attracted to me. It's, I don't know, whatever. He just, it just wasn't giving. So, he also, I'm talking too fast. I am talking too fast. I'm ahead of myself. He came outside with a wife beater because that's what y'all told me it's called wife beater okay and i saw with a wife beater on <laughs> some basketball shorts some basketball shorts that look like high water pants like i said he's like average height for a guy he was probably giving like 5 10 5 11 like maybe he was the same height um basketball shorts that was so long y'all i kid y'all not they look like y'all chose they look like capris they look like high water flooded pants why are your basketball shorts that long i hate when a nigga put on some shorts that's over the kneecap these was almost down his ankles though why do you have these on if you're gonna put some shorts on i want to see some thigh meat I want to see some thigh meat or don't put the shorts on at all. Why are your shorts covering all of your leg? Why are your shorts over your kneecap? I'm confused. So, white beater on. Also, the white beater had a little stain on it, y'all. It had a little stain on it. And he probably was, like, eating something that, you know, like, had, like, some red sauce or something. You know, like, when the red sauce, like, dry up, it turned, like, a little brown a little bit. The stain on the white beater... The gaucho basketball shorts and then the slides 
with no socks. And y'all know how I feel about people wearing, guys specifically, wearing slides with no socks. Then, the audacity of him to not even slap on no lotion for the back of them heels. It was crusty and ashy and flaky and y'all, I don't know why the fuck I'm over here. I don't know why. The material that is given, the material that's in front of me, all of these are red flags. What is going on? So I get out the car, and this is before we even like got in the house. I get out the car, he goes in for a hug, y'all. I gave him a sideways church pet hug, please. Please. <laughs> I'm so confused. So, anyways, so we walk in the house. I'm scanning, looking. So he's like, he's finna go take a shower. Now I know I could have um stayed like in his living room or whatever, but it was all the way like in the front of the house, and like that just made me like uncomfortable. So he's walking like towards his room, like towards the back of the house, and thank God this man room, his room was big as hell. Master bedroom was big as hell, and he also had a couch in his room, so I didn't have to sit on the bed. So I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Like, so he's like, you know, I'm going to get in the shower real quick. We'll figure out what we want to do after that. Like, just, you know, make yourself comfortable. You want something to drink or anything? I'm like, no, I'm fine. Boom, boom, boom. He goes in the bathroom, turns on the shower, and comes up off this white, comes up out this white beater. The stomach was hanging a little bit. I could see that through the white beater, but... And I'm not trying to, like, body shame or nothing, y'all. I'm literally just telling y'all what he looked like and what was going on. So if you're sensitive, you think I'm being mean, all of that, I'm so sorry. Please don't do too much. Um, He took the white beater off, and he threw it like on the ground in front of like the door to the bathroom and I was just like Lord please don't let this man get butt ass naked in front of me I'm already going through enough I'm already very overwhelmed please do not let this man get butt naked in front of me please please I'm begging you if anything please not that I'm okay with anything else Lord just not that he did not get butt naked in front of me y'all okay cool whoo we in the clear so he throws the, the shirt on the ground, goes to the bathroom, closes the door, right? So he still got his um, gaucho capri basketball shorts on and his drawers, I'm assuming, right? So then he cracks the door and he throws the rest of his clothes on the ground, which is his basketball shorts and his underwear right i'm just like on my phone scrolling and then i just started like looking around his room like looking to see how it's decorated like what his bed looked like because i like when guys can somewhat like decorate their house a little bit because you know like most guys they don't care about stuff like that but it's refreshing to see like you put some time and effort and some thought into like getting your house together he was not one of them but i just wanted to see if he was like by chance like i mean your house smell good so you care about something i mean like the, the dishes is still dirty and everything and like your carpet need like a deep cleaning but who knows like your bedroom could be like completely different like i don't know so i'm just looking around looking at the walls and stuff and i'm scanning all around the room like i'm looking at all four walls and when he threw the basketball shorts and stuff like on the ground like i saw him out my peripheral like he literally just cracked the door and he, all you seen was like his arm out the door and then he threw it on the ground. So, I'm looking and something just told me to look down on the ground, right? Because like I, like I said, I saw you on my peripheral, but I didn't see you for real. Like, throw whatever you threw on the ground. <sighs> y'all. Y'all. I wish I was making this shit up, okay? I go to look at these shorts that he threw on the ground and his underwear were in the shorts. Why the f do I see skid marks in this man draw? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> If you don't know what skid marks are, I want you to pause this video right now, go to Google, type in skid marks in underwear, look at what pop up, and then I want you to come back. I'm going to give you some time. 
I probably didn't give you enough time, but I'm not gonna sit here in silence for that long. So, um, yeah, I saw skid marks, and they weren't little, like, <sighs> I'm sorry. They weren't little. They were like, this man didn't wipe when he used the bathroom. This man don't use toilet tissue when he used the bathroom. This man used his drawers to wipe. Them type of skid marks. Them wasn't even skid, them was tire tracks. Tractor tire tracks. It ain't no way you didn't see these in your damn drawers. They were like light gray drawers, y'all. It ain't no way you didn't see these shits in your drawers. It ain't no way you didn't smell yourself. Y'all, I was disgusted. It's a, like, I've been exposed to like a lot of different like types of things that have been like really repulsive to me. This is like damn near top two and it's not two. Y'all, I didn't know what to do. I was frozen. I was just looking at them like, is them, is them boo-boo stains? And his drawers with your big age. And this is on the big. Is them boo-boo stains? Oh baby, I'm gonna get the f*** out of Dodge. Y'all, when I tell y'all I gathered my sh so quickly, I never ran out somebody's house faster than I ran out this man's house. I left that man house so fast, I didn't even close the front door behind me. How dare you? Invite me over to your shit and you talk about you want to take me on a date and you got boo-boo stains in your drawers. You don't wash. You don't wash your ass in the shower. Y'all, I was so confused. What? So, I'm out the house. I'm hitting the fourth flat out the damn house. I'm doing the dash out the neighborhood and I'll call Sparkle because anytime anything happens to me with somebody from Tinder, I'll call Sparkle and I blame her because she is the reason why I even knew about the app, had a profile on the app, talked to people on the app, anything. It's all her fault. So I'm explaining to her what's going on because also I blocked him on everything like Instagram, I unmatched with him on Tinder and I blocked his number. So I'm talking to her, next thing you know, I start getting no caller ID. So this person, this person, which I know is him because I blocked her number. This person is calling me like back to back to back and I'm like, bitch, he's blowing my phone down. So she's like, answer, 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 just answer, see what you gotta say. So I'm like, no, I don't wanna talk to shitty draws. I don't wanna talk to shitty booty. I don't wanna talk to him, no, I don't. So she's like, just answer, just answer. So I'm like, okay. So he caught that last time and I said, I'm gonna call you right back, I'm gonna answer. I answered, y'all, he got an attitude with me. What the fuck going on? Huh? Let, let, me, let me move my extensions out my ear real quick just to make sure I heard you correctly. You cussing at me? So I'm trying to see what the vibe is going to get for this conversation because that's going to determine how I respond. Because I get it. You just came out the shower. I'm gone. Your front door wide open. I'm nowhere inside. Nowhere to be found. I get it. You confused. But you knew I was going to see. Why would you even throw your drawers back in your room like that if you knew? If you knew you had stains in them. If you knew you had stains in them drawers, why would you not keep them in the bathroom with you? If he would have never threw them drawers out, I would have never known, y'all. I would have never, ever known. I mean, the way them stains look, I probably would have smelled something eventually. But I would have never seen that. Why would you traumatize me like that? So he like, what the fuck going on? I said, excuse me? Where the fuck you at? Y'all, I looked at my phone. I said, Marquise, don't you ever, look, don't you ever in your natural born life call this phone ever again with them shit stains that I just seen in your fucking drawers. Don't you ever call this number again. Click. That's it. That's all. You don't even have a chance to respond, y'all. He was blowing my phone down. But for what? Because what could you say to that? What could you say in defense to why you had boo-boo stains in your drawers? What could you say? What could you say to me? Literally. Traumatized, y'all. I'm traumatized. I've never, ever, ever seen nothing like that before in my life. Literally. That was the only time. 
But it's like, how do, like, honestly speaking, like, how do you not know that you got that going on in your drawers? And, it, and I know. I don't know if I should put a trigger warning on this. Damn, it's too late at this point. We at the end of the video. It's like, and I'm not trying to be, like, too descriptive because, you know, like, some people be having, like, sensitive stomachs and stuff, like a weak stomach. But it's just like, y'all, the stain was from, like, the rooter to the tutor. Like, it wasn't, like, you... Okay, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna be too descriptive. Just just use your imagination. Just use your imagination. Just know it wasn't no little like oops, I had like an accident. Like I don't even know how you have one of them. I don't even know how you like have a little bit in your draw. Like, um He threw them He threw them shits. Like just Like, how dare you? How dare you do that to me? The audacity. And y'all, this this story, it traumatized me for like a long time. I ain't told nobody this. Like, I think probably like Sparkle and maybe like one of my homegirls know this story. Nobody ever, ever knew about it. Like, I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I'm traumatized. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And this is not even like a dig at like, I know I was like describing like how he looked. This is not even a dig at like big people because a skinny person can have skin marks in their drawers too. But it's just like. <sighs> I'm traumatized. I'm still traumatized. I will never, ever, ever forget that. And I really want to because why the fuck would you play with me like that? And it's just like. <sighs> You, I don't know y'all I don't know that was that that was that I seen them left he never heard from me again never heard from him again um and yeah that was that I never ever ever like pulled up to a guy house like that like ever again like that especially one that I like I wasn't really like that attracted to I learned my lesson um he had me so up. I really hope that at his big age, because I think at that time he was like at least like two or three or four years older than me. Um, Marquise, if you by chance ever stumble across this video, I hope that you learned um, proper hygiene techniques um, and that never ever happened to you again. Um, I hope you cleaned your carpet and I hope you washed the dishes in the sink. Um, but comment down below what that plug-in smell was because it really did smell so good. And if I could say one thing about you, I never want to forget that smell. Okay, I, I never want to forget that. It smelled so good. So you can comment down below if you remember what you had plugged into your wall because I will buy them all up. It smells so good. Um, but yeah, y'all. I've been going through it. I used to be going through it. That was the end of that story, y'all. Just. I used to be going through it. I really did. And it ain't nobody's fault but myself. I'm putting myself in these situations. I don't have nobody to blame but me. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. And I love you so much, but you already knew that. Make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications. We are not doing a confessions with low tomorrow. We are going to do an unpopular opinions video so we can ruffle some feathers because I got some things to say. So tune into that tomorrow. And if not, tune into a brand new story time next week. And I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.